as promised, here is questions and Bloom's taxonomy. So here we're going to be working through one at a time. So number one, if you remember the bottom of our cake, it is knowledge. So that is recognizing and recalling information. If we were to use this as an example, a good question would be, what is the word for this? And let's say it's ice, you'd be like, that's right, ice, great job. So that would be recognizing the fact that this word means that. Next up, we're gonna check the comprehension. So that is re having them restate information in their own words. For example, what is ice? So you know that they recognize the fact that the word is ice, but you wanna make sure that they understand the concept of ice. So let's say they answer and be like, that's right, frozen water, excellent work. After that comes the application. So you have to have them solve a problem by applying the knowledge to a new situation. So this is really testing that they understand the concept, but it's not too far fetched yet and it's not quite in the creation stage. It's working within comfortable constraints so that they're able to express this information. As an example, you can say, what is the ice you see on a window called? Frost. So it's still ice, but it's another specific kind of ice and it's getting them to understand the various types of this word that exist in the, wor in the world and their different contexts and how that changes. After that, we're gonna get them to analyze. So in the analysis, you get them to break down concepts and explain interrelationships. So we have this word ice, we have this word frost, what's the difference between them? Then you get them to answer and there are so many different answers that they could say in this particular one. I went nice and short and just said, true, ice is thicker. After analysis, we get into evaluation. So here is where they really start to make those critical judgments uh, according to appropriate criteria. So do you always get ice when it's below freezing? This is a concept checking question. This is a bigger question than just what is ice. This is making them think about the world and the context that ice has within it. So do you always get ice when it's below freezing? No, you need to have water too. It can be cold and you have cold deserts, but those don't necessarily have snow because there's no moisture for anything to freeze. And finally, we're gonna to get to our last one, which is creation. So here is where they have to use original thought to creatively solve a new problem. So I kept this on the fairly basic scale, but in this case, my question to that student would be, what is something else that you get when you have water below freezing? And my answer that I'd be looking for would be snow. So this is something that they have to think about other contexts, they have to summon this word from the ether, and they have to understand the concept of when it's cold, when there's moisture, what the whole grand context is in the world. And from there, you could come up with more complex questions. Like I said, I kept mine nice and simple for the sake of explanation, but if you use this general technique of questioning, then you're building a little bit by little bit. And if you went straight from what is the word for this to what is something else you get when you have water below freezing, it's possible they couldn't really make that cognitive leap. But because they've already been thinking about the different types of items in the world that freeze, because they've already been thinking about how they exist in the world and how they come to be in the first place, they're more able to come to that conclusion using information and understanding how they get there. Because it's not just about getting them to the right answer, it's about getting them to understand how they got to the right answer. That's what scaffolding and questioning that's effective is all about. So really do follow Bloom's taxonomy for the diversity, for fostering and building and developing that cognitive flexibility.